there, my wild and crazy golden ear peeps. Say hello to Rocket. They've all burst into the room while I was doing my intro. I just wanted to welcome you to my channel and to our topic today is going to be about brows, eyes, and lips. How to have a minimalistic makeup look at our mature age, but still look, still look lovely. He doesn't like to be held. All right, let's get on to the video. I'm going to tell you how I get started. You know, the morning skincare routine, I do put this wows it, is it wows it, wow it, <laughs> uh, by Ma Maley's under my eyes. I went over that in the last video and it helps uh, diminish wrinkles and fine lines and puffiness within 60 seconds. And you're not supposed to put anything over it, but I will not compromise my sunscreen at all. I'll usually go do some chores or whatever I need to do, come in and do my hair. And then while that's already got its little set down for maybe 15 minutes, then I will go forth with my Elta MD, uh, UV Clear SPF 46. It's not waterproof or sweatproof. What I use in the areas that I need protection, which are under my eyes, I have chronic eye dry and I constantly, you know, put eye drops in and it will get down here and that does wash off your um, sunscreen if it's not waterproof. So I got this by Blue Lizard Sheer Lotion. It's for the face. It's kind of runny, so just be real careful. I shake it up good and put a little dab on my fingers and then I will put that under my eye and down, even over the spot that I already put the wow it on and it seems to it seems to be working great because I let it dry in between. So that takes care of the sunscreen on my face. Wait another 20 minutes. So then I will go right on to my foundation. And now I'm loving this. It CC Nude Glow uh, Light Medium SPF 40. Now it seems like you're just piling on the SPF 40, but in order for the makeup to really give you the SPF you need, you've got to put on uh, like a quarter teaspoon and I don't like it that heavy so I, I feel better that I've doubled I've doubled up and doubled up under my eyes Trenton Owen um, I do exfoliation all these things that have changed the color plus the IPL that I had which was marvelous by the way it's gotten rid of a lot of dark spots where I do need less makeup and that's happy for me and it's helped with my skin texture and my roatia so then I thought I'll try a little lighter cream in the spring and summer now spring keeps faking me out probably faking all of you out too uh, this morning we had snow flurries yesterday it was 65 I, I just pretend like I don't notice CC cream has been amazing and what I do is I use a nice soft sponge because I'm finding in certain areas probably where I'm drier because of the tretinoin or just because I have dry mature skin so I will I will roll it over and it's soft and it's not hard it's gentle pressure and I also have a damp sponge that if I need to force it which usually do, then I will do that with my damp sponge. Now I know this video is supposed to be about uh, brows and eyes to focus on that and lips, which I'll go over all of that as we get going. So we're going to start with the brows. Okay, I think I have my ducks in a row. Now these are my three favorite brushes here for my eyebrows. I use a pomade. I'm finding that that just stays on and I'm getting stays on my brows through thick and thin. It is waterproof. And I just had to get the perfect tools. These two actually are the most perfect and this is the number one most perfect. I'll try. I'll try not to get too close. Anyway, hopefully you can see them. I'll have all of this listed in the description below, all the products and, and tools I'm using. I'm trying now. I got a sample from uh, Ulta. It's Anastasia Ash Brown. All right, so we're gonna just get started. So I take my little teeny, teeny, tiny brush first. Now I have told you this in the past that I have tattooed brows. She used the color Biscotti. And at the time it looked really good because I do, I you know, I am a, a brown tint, even though I have gray hair. I'm naturally, it was naturally brunette when I was younger. So she used Biscotti and it looked really good. I'll show you a picture. See, this was right after it was done. But now it's faded. I have a lot of hair missing, so I had to become creative. Pencils just didn't work for me. They also went on too, too, too pigmented, and I want to control the pigment. I don't know if you understand me, but if you use um, 
pomade you probably know. So what I start out with, because I have a template, and remember less is more as well, and the color I got ash brown because I am dark in the roots here, so this does bring it all together, ash brown. So it's got gray and brown. <laughs> all right, it only took me 3,000 tries to get that. But what I will do is I hold my arm, that's to keep me steady, and I will, oops, better turn this around so it's uh, up close and personal. And I will start drawing in, and it's hit or miss every day. So the template I'm following, whoops, see, I made a mistake. Now what's lovely about that is I still have my little brush, the brush coated with some, uh, I want to say cream rinse, uh, concealer. Then I'll go back and try it again. I'll show you the finished if you can't really see. It's just, so I'll follow. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. That'd be funny if it was yellow. Uh, okay, as I said, I will just follow these brows because they are just really sparsing out because of the hair over plucking in the 70s. I was born with brows that looked like Bigfoot. My dad had almost a unibrow. So I plucked like crazy as I got older. In my teen years, so I would pluck. And then it got so much because I did have a unibrow that I <laughs> ended up shaving. Oh my gosh, yeah. We didn't, have, um, we didn't have YouTube or makeup tutorials in those days. All right, so it looks like it's heavy, but we've got a little solution here. I have this little brush with the spoolie on the end and I will go in and soften it out. And like I said, if you get a little mess down here, you just take your concealer. Yeah. It's just a, when you have nothing, it, it, I have to pretty much make everything. So thank God I've got a $650 template. All right. Yeah, you would think, I, I guess I should have got them darker, but also I think they just, these kind of tattoos do not take like regular tattoos. It's just probably the place it's on your, on your face. All right, so I'm working on this. As I said, you just take these little tiny brushes and you fill in. And then I, this little brush here, I got this off of, <laughs> I saw it on Facebook, so I just had to get it. It was like 12 bucks. And it does help. It's got these angled, but it's got these little guys up here. I don't know if you can really, really see them without going blurry. I put just a tad of my um, pomade on that and then I will go with upward stroke. It really works good on this side because this one has more hair. Go figure. But, so, and you try, you know, I don't want it really dark. Depends on what you're doing, what your makeup is. But that's one and I will go do the other one and come right back. Okay, it still takes me time. That's why I never go anywhere without my little corrector brush and trying to get them not too dark. Uh, you don't have a lot of time to work with pomade. And I forgot to tell you about this little brush here. This is the one, uh, you, maybe you've seen it, but the, when you watch the video, the women <laughs> have shaved their brows and then they're painting these on. Uh, that's not for me, so I'll, I'll take this. Anyway, I think I got those stragglers. Everything's new. Every time I turn around and look in the mirror, I'll find something that I don't want there. But that's the brows. <clears throat> Work on it, practice. Maybe you like the brush, whatever. The most important thing is not going too dark, keeping a shape that will lift your eyes up because at our age, we, we, we want these to be going up like that, not, not down to where it drags our eyes down because most of us have uh, crepey eyes at this age. <clears throat> or hooded eyes. I don't have hooded eyes, but I've got this crepe that kind of settles in there. So I'm going to show you how to apply your eyeshadow without getting it all stuck in there. Now, the first thing that I did <clears throat> was I used my uh, Lancome Tint um, Concealer on my eyes. It's, it's a beautiful creamy formation and it dries quickly. So I'll take my brush, like a so, a concealer brush, dab a little bit of that on there, and then I look down so that my wrinkles and crepe has, you know, lost its its hold on me, and then I will cover 
the whole, I've done this early because I want it to dry. It's very important that it dries before you go on, especially since I'm using matte powders. So I do all of that up here as well and just let that for a few seconds hang there. And then I take my Laura Mercier or any loose powder, translucent loose powder, and I'll take my little brush, any brush that will do for eyeshadow or whatever, I dip it in the powder and again, I go all over, make sure pressing it. Uh, at our age, we don't want to sweep or drag, so we do a lot of pressing. And then I get a big loose brush like this, and then I'll go over and sweep off any excess. Then I am ready to go. All right, so today I found this lovely palette, Too Faced Born This Way, The Natural Nudes. Now, again, I don't know if you can see it, Trying to get a little closer without it going blur blur. They're beautiful. They're just beautiful colors. And I'm going to use today, I am going to use this. I better put on my glackas. Okay, I'm going to use seashell by the seashore. This little mat right here. And then that's going to be on the lid. I know I have brushes. So what I like to use for my lid is a little, for my lid, uh, for my eyebrows is this little tiny brush, like a so. It's, it's not really a blending brush, it's just more of a tiny fluffy brush. And then I will dip it in there. And then again, I'm going to look down and I'm going to apply it to my lids. Just my lid. Need a little bit more. And I try not to tug, I try to push, but the little fluffy brush, this is really soft. It, it doesn't do a lot of tugging. So I'm able to do that. And I will do that just on the full lid. I, I barely touch inside here. Um, it's, it's preference, but you wanna probably stay on the lid. And as I said, use a mat, and this will help take away from the crinkle wrinkles. So does the putting the powder on as well. So I'm gonna go on to the other eye. And it's funny, they look so different, the um, uh, color on the palette and then when it goes on your eyes. But I want subtle, I want an everyday look. Okay, very simple. That only take a, take a, that only take a few seconds. Right. Terrible accent. Now, I did think I had my ducks in a row. Oh, I'm getting a little crease brush. This is by e.l.f. and I'm gonna go in the crease with, all right, do a lot of editing with this. I'm gonna go with Warm Rose. No, 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 excuse me, Seashell and Petal. So, Seashell was over here and Petal is over here. And you know, they always talk about <laughs> that we can't use glitter on our, at, at this age. Well, it's true, you don't want a whole glittery I hit, I mean, I hit a whole glittery eye. It, it really does look, it looks garish on anybody, I think, but I applied correctly. So I'll show you how to apply it correctly. So what I'm gonna do is take that in my crease. Now it's not a whole big difference. And then I'm gonna make my little, go up from my corner, and I still am practicing on how to get this. And then it's like a seven, and you don't wanna go outside that because then you're, you know, you're doing your whole face in shadow. So that's what I do like that, see? And I try to look down, it's hard, it's, it's a pain in the butt, but you don't wanna grab them and pull. You can go like this, but you gotta get it even. You gotta spread your finger and then you just get those wrinkles out of there for the love of Mike. All right. And I don't take it way up. I try to keep it right there. Now when you have hooded eyes, that's where you have a whole, a whole bunch of skin that's over and you can hardly see your eyelid. Well, you put it on the eyelid apparently and go out in the crack. There are lots of videos on how to do hooded eyes. I'm focusing right now on the crepey eyes. If you have hooded eyes, Google hooded eyes for the mature look. All right. All right, doesn't look the, the key here is that it doesn't look extremely, you know, different. 
just if you want you can go a little darker but I'm trying to show you an everyday subtle minimalistic eye that will give you depth but won't be you know nighttime wear I don't know I guess there's nighttime it's like when you're drinking wine like red wine goes with pork and beef and white wine depending can go with seafood chicken uh, that's the kind of that's how it is for me wine goes with everything I'm a Chardonnay drinker I am learning some red I'm sure we'll be going over some wine tutorials coming down the road. All right, so I, again, with my little crease brush, I'm going to do a seven, not an eight. Okay, so I have seashell on the lid and I have petal. Or was it petal? Yeah, I can't see the numbers. Okay, so that's what I do. And if you notice, I'm leaving in here because I like to add a little bit more depth in there. So let's take our blending brush and very easy, again, I try to look down or you can grab like a so, making sure that you're spreading it even. You don't have no kinkles. Subtle, subtle, subtle. Okay, and then what I do on the inner corners, take my little smudge brush and I'm going to take this pretty little tiny glitter it's called snow snowflake right here in the corner I'm just going to take a tad of that dip it here and then I'm going to go right in see I've got such a it's all um, what do you call it sunk in there that's where my skull is and I will go down a little bit under not a whole lot just give it a little bit of color like a so. And then I also will take that and go up here. Just there. All right, better do it on the other side before I forget. Under my brow. And as I said, this is a subtle, you don't even have to do this, it's all preference. I just like a little more highlight in there. And you can also, once you've done that, go back with your little fluffy brush that has a little bit of the product of seashell on it and you can help blend in that more so see I didn't I'm not taking a lot I will have to probably clean up the corners but I do that with the um, concealer so I'm liking that Add more colors I mean a lot of people add some real dark here in the corner and they go out a little bit to give dimension but this is a daytime look so we're trying to be nice and subtle all right, let me clean this up and I'll be right back. So when I said, let me clean this up, I wasn't talking about my face. It was my <laughs> work area was just covered with brushes and makeup and stuff. So now that we've done that, before we clean up with the concealer, I have, this is by Sephora. It's their retractable uh, waterline waterproof in black. Now I found out from a couple of videos that you should not be applying it to your waterline. You know, that's the part that's right under here. You should be applying it directly to your eyelash line. That's why it doesn't stay, because the waterline gets wet and it transfers to the bottom shelf. So I'm gonna take a little bit and try this. this I'm trying this for the first time with you. And I am going to pull just head, and I'm gonna go right on, there you go, on the lash line only. Try it again. And then go out just a tad on the corner. But if you stay on your lash line, I have a feeling this is gonna stay on. Try the other side. Maybe this is a good idea. There you go. Hold it up like that. You can see I'm just getting it on that eyelash line. All the way over and then I can come out. You can just like do a dot and then draw it out with your finger. Mm. I saw that on a video too. I saw so many. That's why I wanted to try to put it together. Oh, there you go. Okay, I think that's gonna be a keeper. This uh, Sephora brush also has a little full of sharpener. Guess it's not retractable then. It's got a little smudge thing 
Um, so if you need to fix whatever you did. <laughs> I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. All right, so we did that. Now I have a new thing I found out about. I usually use eyelash primer because I'm deathly afraid of um, eyelash curlers. But I watched a video on the eyelash curler and how to do it carefully. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Here I am. Okay, I'm getting my blow dryer. I don't know if you saw this or not, and I'm going to heat it up. I'm not going to boil it. So I'm going to put it on a little hotter. That's cool. There you go. And I'm just holding it on that rubber. I just want to get it warm. Warm, they say, warm. I guess that's warm. You don't want it hot. You test it on your chin. It's not hot. So then, here we go, ladies. I'm going to go, and I'm going to go as close to the lash line and crimp. What's warm? Okay. Just crimp it easy. <gasps> I'm not going to pull any out. Let's try this again. Okay, I had to go off camera because I hadn't done this before and I'm really scared of a curling iron. So I heated it up and it took me a while to get to get the uh, that little round thing over just right and I was nervous. So I played with that for a little bit and then I, I put um, mascara on it now. So when it, when it did mine, I had been watching other videos and theirs was just perfect. They said they did it for 30 seconds. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't hold that for 30 seconds without my eyes moving. And that's where I was afraid I was gonna tear out my stuff. So anyway, I did that and then I took one of these little brushes here so that I could kind of separate it because I didn't do it right. It's going to take some practice. And then I put the um, mascara on it and I did it on both sides. And I'll have to say it, it, it could work. Now, again, you're supposed to, after it dries, you're supposed to crimp it again without getting it warm. So I'm going to try this with you. And oh, it's easier, much easier to see. Still don't like a curling iron. Curling iron? Don't like a curling iron on my eyes. Okay. Now that looks nice. So before I go on to the next one, I take my Gwen Stefani. Can't stop, won't stop. I like the little deal on the end. It really helps separate the lashes. Okay. And somebody said to do it on the outside tips. On the inside tips. I'm sure I'm going to get it all over. But anyway, okay. I have to say, I like it. Now we're going to get on to the concealer. Okay, so as again, I use my same concealer. I take my little doe foot off. I don't like my doe foot because it th goes on too thick. Take my little lip brush, dip it in the end there, and then I will go just, I look down, to where that crease is, and I go in there. Now this is how I'm applying it. And that'll help clean up. And then I take my little bigger um, concealer brush, and I will just pat and easy, go like this to clean up there on the sides. And I just press it in, just a little bit, and bring it down. Put a little on my on my nose and I have a little bit because the allergies even though it's not officially it's supposed to be officially spring but it's really still winter here I'm a little peeled that I'm having these nose issues so then I ha constantly have to go in and fix that up okay and then of course under the eyes you want to take your translucent powder. Now, I have a different powder for the eyeballs. It's by Laura Mercier. It's a brightening one. Laura Mercier. No, I have not been drinking. I have a little fluff fluff brush that I dip in, kind of swirl, and tap off the excess. 
and then this is an elf brush and then I will push just kind of push it to set it do do the other side push it then I'll wipe off the excess like a so and then go under and voila now I'll tell you how I do my layups this is by Soar. This is by MAC in the color Soar. And I have makeup. As I said, when I apply my makeup, I apply it over my lips. My lips are, don't have anything on them. No gel or Vaseline or any of that. And then I will make sure it's got a good point, not a sharp point. And I will go under, right under here. I have small lips. I gotta look down this way. I have small, thin lips. I'll show you a picture. This is when I had my brows and lips done about 16 years ago. Yeah, it looked like um, Joan Crawford. <laughs> you know, that was crazy. I, I don't do lips anymore. You know, I just, I, I like now that you can color in, but I do, again, like up here, I have a little bit of a stencil left. So she had made my lips more full, so I follow that. But a rule of thumb is just go, a little under your bottom lip to give it some fullness. Go up regularly how you do. You don't want to make your lips the size of your lip. And then on the top, I give myself a little exaggerated cupid bow. And I use these to fill in as well. I love the color, sure. And if you make a mistake, have your little lip brush with the gooch on it. Okay. See? Then, oh, I'm loving this by, by NARS. It's uh, this new, I don't know how new it is. It's, oh, the print is just terrible, but the color, <laughs> it's a gloss. The color is called Orgasm. I, I don't, anyway, so this is like a light pink, just clear, and I put that over. I like this. And there you go. Also to set my makeup, I will use, I will go around and around. I like my MAC and this is matte because my makeup is already glowy. And I'll just do a little matte spray. It's better to use spray than powders on our dry skin. It just, it goes, even the translucent, light, beautiful uh, powder like Laura Mercier sells. It's if I find out that this holds it just as well and doesn't dry me out. You got a little childproof thing on there. Oh, yar! Woo, pirate time. Take my little thing, my little thing, my little sponge. And there. Okay, there you have it, my friends. You can see me good. I get up too close, I'll go, um, what do you call it? I'll go to plaid. All right. So I hope you got some helpful tips out of this uh, and I rambled on, but I will edit it so that it's not so, you know, blabby, but you'll realize that it's less is more. And once you get these techniques down, you're, you'll be able to just get out the door quickly. The one that's going to take me the longest is the eyelash deal, but I'll work on it if you will. <laughs> All right. Be wonderful to each other. Laugh, love, and if part of it means you need to pull someone's pants down and run to get the laughter, by all means, go for it. Thank you.